very impressive body language. First of all, <coughs> this is the one of the most impressive speaker that, that delivered the project one in my uh, life of uh, as an evaluator. <laughs> and it, I today I will give uh, him uh, three parts of my evaluation. First of all, it's about the message. The second is uh, about the organization, and the third is about gesture. The first of all is about measures. Well done. The objective of uh, the project one is introduce yourself, and you do good. Well, not good. Well, uh, computer, <laughs> computer science uh, engineer, and <clears throat> the next is. His uh, hobbies is that he. Anyone remember? Travel. Yes. Uh, you have a His his hobbies is traveling. That that means you remember what he said. And the second is he has a. What do you what do? You, do you remember? You cannot. <coughs> and the third is, I said the third before the eighth, the first, so you can mean the rest. It's about the career. He's not a good, a good, good engineer, but uh, that mean he, that's the, the reason he started a, his own company. And that's all about the message. The organization is he, the opening, he has a simply opening, but it leads to the body. The body, he has three parts separately and clearly. And the conclusion, well done, he has on the three things of him in the conclusion that you will remember all day long. And the gesture, I like that you have an honesty. Good voice, confident, and friendly gesture. <clears throat> uh, what I impressed most is uh, that the change transition from uh, he said that he had horrible, terrible memory, but he transformed it to uh, that he hard, it's hard to hate people. It shows his friendly heart, and uh, it's also the metaphor and the. Uh, <clears throat> Next speech, I challenge you to uh, have it, some highlights, highlights in your speech. That uh, will have uh, make your uh, speech as an explosion. Thank you. So now we are moving to the evaluation of the speech from Mr. Hitler because, as you, as you may know. From the, from the prepared speeches. Normally, we got speeches from 4 to 6 minutes or 6 to 8 minutes, but the speech from Mr. Hitler is 15 to 20 minutes. So, the evaluation from Mr. Hitler is quite different and longer, a little bit longer. It's for 3 to 4 minutes. So, at 3 minutes, the green card will show. At 3 minutes and 30 seconds, the yellow card will be shown. And at 4 minutes, the red card will be shown. And you got 30 seconds to wrap up your evaluation speech. So please, everyone, help me welcome Mr. Thank you, Mr. Postmaster. I was relishing the thought of watching Hick Lee deliver his speech today. Because Hitler always brings a lot of qualities to the table. And today was no exception. Hitler was very insightful and intelligent. So he brought that to his speech. You had to think you enjoyed the insights that he can look at things and then describe them in a way we hadn't thought of before. And I looked around and when Hitler came out with examples of that, people were nodding their heads. It's great to see. So, we had a connection already. 
Pete Lee is very good at humour. I would, I would do a lot of things to get Pete Lee's humour. Uh, he has wonderful prepared humour, but he's also very quick off the mark. He can extemporate. He can engage with a question or a reaction from the audience and come back with something very funny. I look at sometimes look at the things he says and I say, I can't understand why they're funny, but the audience just laughs. <laughs>, <laughs> I would like to have that skill. <laughs> Pete Lee also has a stage presence. When Hit Lee comes, comes to the stage, we all go, ah, here we go again. I'm ready. I'm up for it. And Hit Lee has this nice energy. Uh, he's very pleasant. It's very non-confronting, and uh, there's a lot of elements in it which we all enjoy. He uses sophisticated techniques, uh, especially in his humour. Uh, he uses twists and alliterations. I think um, we are Toastmasters and Masters or something. Uh, that's an example of alliteration. He, he uses that, and he also uh, uses callback. So he refers back to things and uh, he derives humour out of that, as well as driving the point home. Pete Lee also has very good storytelling ability. Uh, he can spin a yarn so we can sit back, relax, and enjoy it. The last thing I'd like to say about Hitley, uh, uh, the qualities, is his voice. It's a very pleasant voice. Uh, it's very engaging. I would like to see him vary a little bit. Uh, a bit more emotional, go a bit higher, and a bit deeper, a bit lower at times. And uh, get excited at times as well, and really, uh, push out some energy and get a bit of co-reaction going. So Hitley brings all these things to the table when he gives a speech at, uh, at Toastmasters. And today he was giving a keynote speech. Now, I'm very disappointed with Toastmasters and how they set out the objectives. You might uh, recall that when I gave the, read out the objectives, I said, I hope you can understand those because I had to read them a couple of times just to work out what they meant. <laughs> uh, the first one was identify the basic differences between keynote speeches and other kinds of speeches. What does that mean? Well, a keynote speaker gets paid for his speeches. So this is something we can all take notice of. When we're going to give a speech, before you give a speech or a task you're going to do at Toastmasters, say to yourself, would people pay to watch me do this? And if not, think how. It's four minutes. Three and a half. Three and a half. Okay, we'll do it. Hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, a good keynote speech should have great stories, um, strong structure, structures that we can follow, uh, an element of motivation, and a call to action. Great stories. We need long stories. We want to sit back and get lost in the story. People like to listen to stories. They don't like to be told things. When you start telling them fact after fact after fact, we have to work hard. We didn't want to work hard. It was 15 minutes or 20 minutes. We didn't want to have to work for all that time. We wanted to get lost on it. We wanted to go through it. So, structure, very important. Story, story, story. Common theme. The theme was too long. Eight words, six to eight words, what the theme was. If we could get that theme recurring throughout the stories, it would have been easy. However, Pitt Lee has all the skills. He has all the skills to produce a great keynote. It's only a matter of time. I blame Toastmasters Manual. They did the objectives were very bad. But <laughs> I, yes. A keynote speech should have great stories strong structure, an element of motivation and a call to arms. Thank you. This? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, guess too excited, thank you. Okay, so now we come to Miss Alex Nguyen, the very tough of Mr. S. A. Nguyen, doing the project and spend project number two. Please help me welcome Miss Alice Nguyen. Uh oh, but it's a normal switch from uh, five to seven minutes, so the time is two to three minutes. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, everybody.
everybody again and Nate, not N-A, Nate. Okay. Nate. Um, so his project objectives is about is um, giving a praise or an order of appraising or not ordering someone. But instead of that, he he talk about five or six person and uh, and instead of give five areas uh, or five attributes of the one person, he just take five or six person and add in each person's attribute to one in order to create a uh, mentors, those that uh, help him a lot in the journey with Toastmaster. And I think uh, it's the creative way to do it because it's out of the objectives but somehow he created a new way and I think we can uh, relish that. Okay. Um, so Nate have a uh, very good organization uh, have a his speech have a very good organization. He has a op uh, opening a uh, very a well-developed body and, and he, he has a very a, a good vocal variety right? uh, when he, um, he he has when he talk about Harris the one who uh, inspired a lot with uh, his uh, with the Harris voice with his voice he actually raises his voice and have us feel like okay uh, really inspired and to some to some part that he needs to uh, he comes to a okay he comes to a a time that he needs attention from audience below his boy is that word? Um, one thing I want to point out so that he can uh, improve uh, in the future is that uh, I'm gonna be strict. Because I put high expectation on you, um, because apparently you are a potential speaker, 